All right, the last guy. We get our final player profile. You did it before, but the computer didn't cooperate. So mm -hmm. we'll start over. Uh, Matt Cross, it's good to have you here. Uh, been fun watching you here throughout the course of the season. Uh, the one thing that comes to mind is a BP at Geneva where you tried to be Aaron Judge. And you're parking a few out yeah. of the ballpark. So the bottom line is you had fun this year, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of fun. And, uh, of course, you, you look good catching. I think one of the things that actually improved as the season went along, uh, your throws down to second were just right on target. And is that something that uh, that you work on throughout the course of the season to get better at? And in which case did this help out here? I mean, yeah, uh, in between innings, you know, I kind of just go slow with it, work on my footwork, and try to get my accuracy down to second. So, yeah, I've been kind of working through it through the season. Yeah, well, it's paying off. The work has paid off. You know, one of the other things I, I see you do, and uh, was watching a uh, game on ESPN a couple of weeks ago, and David Ross was talking about the concept of framing a pitch to get a call. And he said one of the keys to success for any catcher is where you set up. The less movement your body has, the more the umpire will maybe react to the fact that you've got the the glove in, in the spot, and he thinks maybe that was a strike and might change his mind. I notice you do that all the time. You, you set up really well for your pitchers, and you get your share of calls back there. Yeah. Is that, uh, is that something that you've been taught as far as uh, your coaches throughout the years? Yeah, they uh, told me to stay quiet behind the plate. And uh, when you frame, you're not supposed to frame balls. You're supposed to frame strikes and uh, better strikes, like borderline. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they've been uh, teaching me that for a couple of years now and be quiet, you know, just move our movement, really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good job on that. Talk about college, uh, where you are, what you're doing, and how your spring went. Um, I mean, I'm on trip right now. Uh, we went to the College World Series and came in second place, unfortunately. Looking to go back and actually win the whole thing this year because our team's going to look pretty solid. Yeah, mm -hmm. no doubt. Uh, talk about your youth baseball days, when you started playing and like up through high school. Uh, I mean, when I started playing, I saw my brother play, and I just kind of automatically fell in love with the game. And then played in Little League and then high school. Didn't really get called up in high school. You know, just kept like breezing through. And then, you know, just made my way to college, found NCAC, and I loved it. Uh, you're, you're a catcher. Have you always been a catcher, or is that something that you – took a liking to it at a certain point. No, like since I was really young in the league, I've always been a catcher. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, this year in college, I was a first baseman, third baseman, and catcher, so. Prefer catching then over yeah. the, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, I think the neatest part about being a catcher, other than <laughs> the one bad thing is you get beat up every game. But the one good thing about it is you're kind of the quarterback out there. You're controlling what's going on, calling pitches, you know, maybe even directing infielders around or what have you. It's a cool position. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, yeah, and I think it's worth uh, – I, I see a lot of some of the best managers in Major League Baseball are guys that were catchers. So, you know, it just goes to show how much of the game that you are thinking about every time you're out there. Uh, talk about your folks. They're so important when it comes to student athletes. Uh, I mean – I probably wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't my parents, you know. They've helped me. They've put me through travel ball. They've done everything for me. And, yeah, pay for everything that needed me to get here. Anything uh, you want to talk about? Any interesting stories? I know uh, we've had a couple of guys talk about certain things their dad has done. Um, now I, Chris Estrada uh, was just on our pregame show uh, before today's game, and he was talking about the fact that his dad – spanned since he started videotaping his son <laughs> he had videotapes then went to cds and then dvds and he's getting on to memory sticks and now he says he's posting everything to, <laughs> to facebook anything like that with your dad i mean not really like videotype but when i was younger about nine or ten my dad found a newspaper clipping uh for the pitch hit and run okay and uh, i got to do that from region or uh district to sectionals and then to regionals and i actually got to play at new york yankee stadium oh and, man yeah it was it was a wonderful time there was, was that new, new yankee or the old the new one the new, the new one. one just like i think it was the year that they built it okay it was 
Beautiful. That's still great. That's a yeah. great story. Uh, I know Isaac Meza told me about him playing at Dodger Stadium, mm -hmm. and that's that's just amazing <laughs> stuff. Well, we appreciate you taking the time. It's been fun to watch you play. Let's hope the postseason goes on for a while, all right? All right, thank you. All right, thank you, Matt. Bye-bye.